call a show Justice League, you automatically think, okay, you're gonna see Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman, and then the other ones as well. And this is gonna be your only time to see these characters, you know, for the next 20 years or so in an animated cartoon, so you better get them right. So they need to kind of be their iconic, you know, versions. We ended up going back and, and coming up with a, a, an all-new Batman design. It was very faithful to the comics. For the sake of it, we kind of toyed with his, his, his design a little bit, gave him a little bit longer ears. They flare out to the sides a little bit more rather than being swept back. Gave him back his highlight on his, on his black, you know, leather parts. Put little tiny heels on the bottoms of his boots, which he'd never had before in our animated version. That, if anything, that was probably a subliminal nod to Batman Beyond, who had heels on the bottoms of his boots. We chose wisely when we offered you the ring. Thank you. John Stewart. John Stewart was the one Green Lantern in the comic book continuity who never ever wore a mask because most of the Green Lanterns wore a little domino mask. So he was the first Green Lantern to say, no, forget it, I'm not wearing a mask. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed of being a Green Lantern. I'm not ashamed of being John Stewart. So we thought that was a really important part of the John Stewart version of Green Lantern. But just for purely for visual sake, we thought we, need, we needed to give him some kind of visual gimmick for his close-ups. So we came up with the idea that the, uh, he's been a Green Lantern for so long that the, the energy of the Green Lantern has kind of infused his entire being so that it's, e it's even in his bloodstream and it glows out of his eyes and it certainly makes it an interesting visual. James Tucker took a pass over, over the old Superman design and, and he felt that the old design was fine, but he thought that Superman could be a little bit more rugged, a little bit more grown up looking. So we gave him, you know, um, uh, strong cheekbones and little tiny dashes under his eyes, which are supposed to give him a little bit more of a, a comic book squinty look. Makes him look a little bit older than he did in the, in the Superman the Animated Series. And one of the very first comics I had possession of when I was a kid was a Hawkman uh, issue. And it had Hawkgirl in it. And as much as I liked Hawkman, I just really fell in love with Hawkgirl. I thought she had like one of the coolest helmet shapes I'd ever seen in a comic. It was that real good mix of kind of tomboyish, but feminine, and uh, she was actually very simple to design. I mean, I basically just, just took her right out of the comics and uh, didn't hardly change a thing on her. Flash was kind of a no-brainer designing. We knew pretty much right off the bat that we pretty much needed to stick to the comic version of his character. And it's, it's a great costume, you know, red and yellow, you can't beat it. The one note we did get from DC Comics is that they had, uh, uh, in, in recent years, they, they tried to go a little bit darker with his character and with his design to try to make him look a little bit more fresh and more modern. We adapted that by giving him kind of a velour kind of look to his costume so that he's always rim-lit, he's always, you know, the, the, the main body of his, his costume is is a, a dark shadowed character and he's got a little bit of the, the brighter red uh, on the outside of his, his, his costume to kind of keep him a little bit more dynamic looking um, so he's not just a real big, you know, tomato. Martian Manhunter is, is a character that, um, you know, it, it's all in how you draw it. I mean, I actually think the design looks fine. I think he looks great. He's had various, you know, uh, collar shapes on top of his cape. He's pretty much, you know, just the, the comic book character just adapted slightly for animation. Most of the female characters we've, we've designed for the, the various animated shows have been very petite, but Wonder Woman is a, is a very strong and powerful character. So we needed to kind of beef her up a little bit, but not go into that bodybuilder mode, which they sometimes do in the comics. We tried to, to infuse her with a, a little bit more power just in the, in the visual than uh, some of the other characters. She's taller, she has longer legs, um, smaller head. We tried to keep her feminine, but very, very strong. Let's go home. Drawing is, is not easy, you know? Um, Sometimes it may look easy because we've been at it for so long, but every single character is a design challenge.